First thing we're going to do is boil some water. We have some corn on the cob. We're just going to let it sit in the water for about 10 minutes. All right, I just took the corn out of the boiling water. It was in there for 10 minutes. We're just going to let it sit under some cold water. And uh, I'm going to take the husk off. All right, we just took all of the uh, that extra green uh, layer, the husk or the skin, whatever the hell you call it. We just peeled that off, uh, rinsed it off. Now we're going to take these to the grill. All right. To get this corn on the grill now I'm gonna have it go the way that the grill is because if you put it sideways it's gonna roll we don't want it to roll we want the char marks to go on the corn and uh, we're gonna check it out in a few minutes give it a turn Got the grill on uh, medium high, more towards the high end. We're gonna close it up and uh, come back in a few minutes here. We're gonna have some swordfish with the corn. We're gonna do about a few minutes each side for the swordfish. All right, as you can see, the corn it takes a hell of a lot longer to cook compared to the swordfish. We flipped the swordfish once. Um, it was on for about a few minutes. I did turn the corn a little bit, but it takes a while uh, for the chamox to go on. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, even when you boil the corn for 10 minutes, uh, move it over to the grill, you know, it still needs time. You can see. Uh, it's starting to char a little bit, but yeah, we'll come back in a few minutes. I'm going to close this up. All right, this corn's been taking a long time, but uh, it's looking good. That's the color that we're looking for. Um, we'll pull these off in a couple of minutes, but uh, definitely want these to get a little more uh, darker. But uh, that's what we're looking for. It's so far so good. The corn's ready to go. I have our homemade garlic aioli dressing. And I'm going to give it a little mix. Just wipe it on. Just like that. Thanks for watching my video. For more recipes and restaurant experiences, please visit thebossandcook.com.